What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a very interesting video for you if you struggle from CPU limitations, such as having a really old processor and you're trying to play games, but Chrome's open in the background and other things that you need to keep open and you're dropping in-game frames or experiencing input lag because of it. And this is how to limit a processor's CPU usage. This took me a really long time to figure out how to do and I could only find a single tool that actually manages to do it. I've been using it for quite a while and I've been able to open say 200 Firefox processes on my computer without it completely melting down. In fact, I can lower all the CPU usage of every one of them so low that I can run all of them concurrently with a game. Anyways, examples aside, this is a battle encoder. Head across to the link in the description down below find the download button and then click the link at the very top which should be the newest stable one. Below we also have a test version which was released this year instead of two years ago. So I'll go ahead and download say the test version. You'll be presented with a page like this. Click the one with the highest number, 17. If you were to click the link up here, you'll simply just download the file straight away. So we'll open up the .7z file with a program called 7zip which you can find from the second link in the description down below. Simply drag and drop it onto a folder or your desktop for that matter and double click on it. That's it. Now it's open. This is the software. When you're in here, click target and find the process that is taking the most amount of CPU on your computer at the time. If I pull across my task manager, you can see a bunch of processes here and you can simply sort by CPU by clicking that up there. Obviously, I don't want to slow any of these because I'm using them to actively record. To demonstrate its power, I'll head across to twitch.tv and open up some of the most popular recommended channels up here. Then I'll make sure that each stream is playing. And you can already see that CPU usage is relatively high at around 20 to 30%. So that's a pretty good example. I'll leave this going in the background, head across to the page that we opened before and find the process that's taking all the processing power. You can sort by name if you want. As you can see, there's a bunch of Firefoxes running, usually in a multi-threaded program like this. You'll have to do it to all of them, but for a single-threaded program, you can just do it to one of them because there'll only be one on the list. So we can simply just double-click on it, and we can choose just this process or every instance of this EXE, which is watch. You can also do this by clicking the limit slash watch button up here. Instead, to set the slider here of how much we want to slow it, we'll click limit this first, just this process, yes. Then we can change exactly how much time it is allowed on the CPU processor. We'll set it to maybe negative 90% as an example. This will slow it down very heavily. Then we can simply hit limit slash watch every instance of the CXC and hit yes. Then you'll see that all of the Firefoxes are highlighted in red. Now if we click across the Firefox, you'll notice a substantial drop in FPS. Of course, you usually don't get FPS drops in browsers, but if I try and scroll down here, you can see that it really, really struggles. If we have a look up here in our task manager, we can see it's using 8 to 10% instead of 20 to 30%. Now, of course, this does mean that the program is going to be rather slow, but what do you expect from limiting CPU usage? You'll use this usually for background programs that you're not supposed to close when you're playing a game, such as, say, Steam or something else like that, maybe a web browser you want to keep open with music, Spotify possibly. You can use this to squeeze every last little bit of performance out of your processor. Once you're done, you can simply hit Unlimit All, and whatever process you limited will now return to normal speed. As you can see, tabbing between tabs is much faster and scrolling is much smoother. So that's that. You can simply close out of it when you're done, hit exit. I hope this helps you quite a bit with limiting other processes and getting the most performance out of games and other processes on your computer. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.